Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 6th of March, 2019. Article posted by Newsweek, written by David Brennan, B R E N N A N. Posted on the 6th of March, 2019. Title Who is Rona Graff? White House insider could be the end of Donald Trump, Amorosa says. Former White House aide Amorosa McNaught Newman has named a person who may provide Democrats with the key to taking down President Donald Trump, the president's longtime personal secretary, Rona Graff. Speaking with MSNBC's Chris Matthews Tuesday, McNult Newman talked about the new investigation into Trump's dealings launched by House Democrats, which saw a document requests sent to 81 people and organizations close to the president. Those contacted include some of Trump's closest advisors and family members, Matthews asked McNult Newman, whose testimony she thought Trump feared the most. Quote, one name. Rona Graff, she replied quickly. She knows everyone. She knows the role they play. She knows who said what and when. She set up the meetings, McNaught Newman explained. If she is called to testify, that will be the end of Donald Trump. Now, if you watch some of my videos, folks, I had said I actually reached out to Rona Graff about six years ago. And I had told her that Citizen Trump could save America by putting together a coalition and gathering around five million dollars, putting it into a Swiss bank account and giving it to anyone that can provide undeniable, unequivocal proof that Barack Hussein Obama was never eligible to hold office. I sent her a follow-up email explaining exactly that. Within about a week and a half, there was an announcement. Trump's going to hold a press conference at the Trump Towers. And I was glued to my seat. He starts talking about five million dollars. And what he did is he put a little bit of a twist in it. He offered Obama the five million dollars to a charity of Obama's choice if he provides his documents from Occidental and Harvard. He knew that Obama would never do that. I got a hold of Rona Graff and I said I was very disappointed because all he did was grandstand. He used my idea to get a whole lot of free publicity. When he came down the escalator a number of years later with Melania, I said in videos that I posted, this guy is just full of bullshit. He's grandstanding. He has no intentions of really running. And then I realized we didn't have anyone else. They were all clowns. Marco Rubio. His parents were Cuban citizens until he was five. Ted Cruz was a Canuck. He was a Canadian senator, for God's sakes. He gave up being a Canadian citizen two years after he went into the Senate. Bobby Jindal, his parents were Indians. None of them were eligible, and the ones that were, were again all clowns. Mike Huckabee, they were just clowns. Jeb Bush, Clowns. Folks, you want to read the rest of this article? And there's no doubt that if Rona Graff is put onto the witness stand, Trump's world will crumble. If I was Rona Graff, I'd be a little bit concerned. She is the key. She was the key back then. That's why I got a hold of her. I knew she was the one that really ran the Trump Organization. Take a look at the article. Graff has worked for Trump for about 30 years and for years was considered the gatekeeper as he ran his real estate empire from Trump Tower in Manhattan, according to Politico. She has remained a key conduit for those seeking access even after Trump became president. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Amorosa Newman is 100% correct. Rona Graff is the key to Trump's demise. It is what it is, folks. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. Too bad Trump didn't listen to me back then. Too bad Trump 
never tune into his own report. He wouldn't be in the crap that he's in if he did. That's sort of what I think. Tell me where I'm wrong. You can't, can you?